Giro della Media 2022. UAE set really hard tempo for the previous climbs. This is this penultimate climb. You can see Diego Ulusi on the front launching it um, and Formolo just behind him. This is obviously for Tadej Pogacar. Um, he was sort of the main favourite in this race. Um, I'm pretty sure Van Poor is racing it, but it's quite hard for him. Alejandro Valverde, Enrique Mas there in the screen. Lorenzo Fortunato, Danny Martinez, who won Coppa uh, Sabatini. And then he also had the winner of Coppa Agostini. Um, actually, no, he didn't have the winner, but he had like most of the favourites there, like around and stuff. Um, you can see some of the guys um, out front from the break there getting spat. Lorenzo Fortunato looks really, really good, but I think he, he just couldn't wait. He attacked here really hard, um, distance quite a lot of riders. You can see uh, Pagacha here is on the front, making it pretty hard. Puts of Evo's looking really, really good. And Enric Mass with 9.8k to go decides it's time to go. And he puts in a big, big dig. You can see Poggy's really struggling here. Like round this bend, um, they're basically the only two people who actually have the gas, um, who have the same sort of gas. And Enric Mass, this is a long attack as well. It's it's not the steepest part when he attacked, but he's still really challenging everyone else. You can see the gap that uh, drought was really, really big straight away, showing Mass had super, super condition. Um, I don't know if this was always the best tactic, going so hard on this climb. I feel like, yeah, you want to make a selection, but you probably don't want to go solo. Here's Danny Martinez getting spat. And this is towards the top of the climb, but actually it's pretty flat. And Enric Mass goes again, and Pagacha just can't get on the wheel. He's like really out the saddle trying to sprint to get over it. I think this might be because Enric Mass is not always the best descender. Maybe he wanted a little bit of gap. Uh, for the descent on Patale Pagacha, I'm not 100% sure, but an interesting move. It would have been pretty bold going 9.5k from that, from the finish. But to be honest, he, I think at this point, he probably knew he's the strongest climber. He just thought, as long as we don't have it to a punch, because like this last 20 seconds where it's quite flat, you can see there in the big ring, that obviously suits Tale Pagacha. But anyway, 9.5k to go. They come across the finish line um, and another lap. So basically just do a descent of the San Luca climb and then come up. Again, the climb is like 2k at 10%. On the descent, this was the second group. Aran decided to attack um, on this sort of like slight kicker. Uh, and then we had Alejandro Valverde and uh, what's his name? Domenico Pozzavivo coming across as well. So they were the chase group. Um, so Movistar in a really good position with a guy in the front and a guy behind. So they looked, you know, they the, for the points, obviously they're irrelevant. You know, they're not going to get relegated, but if they were, they, they did score highly um, by having so many people in the front of the race. So this is like six and a half K to go. You can see Enric Mass on this slight uphill is just drilling it, making sure that they them two stay away. I mean, he could have played the second card. Oh, I've got Pagacha behind, but I think, to be honest, it didn't make any sense. You can see Valverde's coming across the gap here as well um, with Fortunato not managed to get across. And to be honest, Fortunato looked really good, so it's a shame he didn't get across, but... Alas, I think he just did too much work early on. You can see here they now finally closed the gap. Aran and it was descending super, super well, as well as Pozzo Vivo. He actually went straight to the front and then drilled it on this descent. This looks like a wild descent. It's sort of like quite narrow, shaded, left some rights. It's definitely um, a tough one. Valverde just waiting off. I think he knows that he just got a job to do for Enric Mas because that last climb, Enric Mas looks super, super strong compared to everyone else. And it's a pretty interesting like final of the circuit. Uh, just basically laps of the climb. There was also a women's race today as well, but unfortunately there's no coverage, so I can't do that. But apparently there's going to be some highlights coming out maybe tomorrow. So when that comes up, I'll definitely do um, a video on that. I really wanted to do them both today, but alas, no live footage. I mean, even this one was a nightmare to find on the ride. Um, and this is the chasing group behind uh, with two FDJ riders. And we actually missed this. Now, this was Enric Mass's attack. We go to the final climb. They were showing Fortunato, but Enric Mass pretty early on decides it's time to go. And just no one comes with him. Like, it's sort of anticlimactic, because, but there was just no footage. They literally were showing the second group, and then suddenly Enric Mass is off the front, and Tali Pagacha is struggling to get across. And you can see Tali Pagacha here, and puts a people on his wheel. The gap doesn't look that big, and that's the camera. The gap is actually quite large, especially because it's so steep as well, which means that, obviously, the distances involved are not huge, uh, but the gaps are large. And you can see Enric Mass here, he's looking down. He actually, when he attacked and got the gap, there was like a wry little smile across his face. I think he knows that, knew he, that, that he had it. Here's Fortunato attack straight out of the other group to try and get across. The Italian TV coverage absolutely love Fortunato. I mean, fair enough, he is good, but he's also no chance of winning a race. So it's a bit annoying that they spent so much time looking at him instead of looking at the guys who are actually competing for the race. And here, we're going up, we were past actually like the Pantani uh, curves, I'm pretty sure now. Um, as you know, I think they're just coming up. And anyway, that's sort of always a good part to see how they're going, just because it's so steep, it's like 20% around there. Um, and this climb, yeah, again, it's, it's super, super steep. So... 
one of those ones where realistically um, you, it's just the battle of the legs. But I think what really helped Mass today was how hard UAE paced on the previous climbs. I think that really helped him um, because Pogacar is definitely more punched than him. But because it was such a hard race, it was really just who had the best climbing legs rather than sort of tactical. Like last year when Roglic won, it was a lot more tactical race. People were attacking. It was a lot of like, it wasn't just a straight out um, what's Pekilo test, which it was today, which I think suited Henry Mass. And he looks really, really good after the Worlds, actually. I'm really happy for him. He's had a lot of stick this season, mainly from not being able to descend and all the rest of it. But actually, he's a really strong rider, second in the Worlds uh, two years in a row. Um, and I know winning probably one of his biggest one-day races, to be honest. Um, so yeah, it'll be interesting to see how he goes in Lombardia. Lombardia is obviously different, doesn't finish on a summit. Um, so he'll need to get away solo as he doesn't have a great punch. But anyway, coming up to the final of the race... Only a couple hundred meters to go. It's pretty flat here, actually. It's like five, six percent, maybe max. So um, he knows he's won. He's just cruising. I mean, I, I assume whoever's in the team car for Monster is going absolutely mental because this is a, a big, big win. I know it's not a World Tour one day race, but it might as well be because it's so highly rated and it's also always got a very good start list. So winning this, it really does show that you've got good form going into Lombardia. So super, super strong performance from Movistar and Enric Mass. You can see the nice. I think it's a church at the top. Could be a cathedral. I'm pretty sure it's a church. Zips up the jersey and ciao, ciao. Thanks for coming, everyone. It's the Henry Mass show. It's a Mother Star show. They just really, really did super well um, today. Uh, not, you know, minimal tactics, just strong legs. Five hours race um, and Henry Mass takes the W. Cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy this video. Um, make sure to catch the women's race tomorrow, hopefully. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. Corridore del Team Movistar, andiamo a vedere come si completa il podio, mi sembra Tadej Pogacar abbia lasciato lì, sì, Pozzo Vivo che comunque sale sul podio, Tadej Pogacar, Domenico Pozzo Vivo, c'è anche l'Italia sul podio grazie a questo inesauribile corridore. Ed è